giving you a voice, making it loud our own way. Welcome, Welcome to, to the fun. fun. All right, so we're going to get in the top 10. Uh, we'll do it in the next five. And like we just said, we'll take another little break. But uh, so leading us off here to break into the top 10 is going to be team number 870. From Southold, New York, Southold Junior Senior High School, it's Team Rice, 14 and 3 overall. And we're the winners of the Finger Lakes Regional. 870 took their machine to FLR for the first time since 2017, and they came with some firepower. Earning the top spot at the event, they selected 3015 and 271, and the Alliance cruised through the quarterfinals and semifinal rounds. In the finals, however, the Rice Machine did have some difficulties, and their Moran Alliance dropped the first match. However, after alternating their strategy to fit the new capabilities of 870, the Nurmoran Alliance stormed back in match two and three to take the win. A great job at 870, and you can catch them again next week at the SBPLI Long Island number two regional. Oh, Good luck to Team Rice, eight seventy. Nice. Yeah, yeah, we're very cool. excited. Our uh, our drive team is messed uh, very well, and I think there might even be a dinner date planned. Uh, <laughs> okay. In, in, uh, well, in Long it Island. Escalated quickly. All it right. It did. Snapchats were exchanged very quickly. They're <laughs> <laughs> they're good friends now so nice, they, uh, cool. yeah they're excited about it yeah we've seen we've seen um team rice up at flr quite a bit and yeah. really nice to see them have a really good robot this year I, I can't remember exactly so please forgive me but i just they haven't always had i think the best robots out there so i've I never think, heard uh, of them yeah really yeah. well yeah new york i, I think i guess <laughs> yeah so um really really great robot is a really nice alliance watching that this weekend i was really as pretty much one of the only streams i was watching um, just because I had so many friends and stuff competing. But, yeah, congrats to them. Absolutely. All right, moving along in the single digits, we have Team 604. From San Jose, California, and Leland High School, it's Quicksilver. They have an overall record of 12-4, and four, and they were semifinalists at the South, uh, South, the San Francisco Regional. So they make their 2019 Top 25 debut at number 9. Um, Quicksilver is a ground game robot who went nine and two with a 2.63 uh, ranking score average. So honestly, I think 604 might be just a little high for their level of play, just from what I was able to see. Yeah. Um, but Good I think bot, you know, bot. yeah, they are. Don't get me wrong, for sure. Um, but I think just with a lot of people watching 971 um and two, 254 i think you know we had a lot more people seeing quicksilver so obviously a good robot still um they have a really uh unique kind of the dunker over the top um have three climb they get some kind of that street credit as well but um these ground game robots are just um are really just what wins these events um in eliminations and quicksilver has a robot to do it um they'll play again at the silicon valley regional um will look for that robot goal but um they did take home the uh chairman's award at San Francisco, so congrats to them. We can uh, give them that gold uh, gold emote in the chat. But uh, congrats to 604. I was talking to uh, somebody who was at San Francisco, and they said that 604 did actually look really good in quals. Um, mm -hmm. And to a certain extent, they thought they actually – uh, this is not me saying it, but they thought they actually looked almost better than 254 at some point and was wondering if there was any consideration from 971 about taking uh, 604 over 254. I'm not not sure if there was by any means, but, yeah. uh, uh, you know, that, that flip that they do near the end of the matches is, is yeah, pretty cool. cool. Um, yeah, and it's unique, but it doesn't quite you know? make the room for two robots, right? Right, right. So, cool. All right. So moving on to our eighth-ranked team, that's going to be team number 694. From New York, New York, Stuyvesant High School, it's Stiples, 28 and 11 overall. We're the finals of the Tech Valley and Central New York Regionals. The 694 machine with their suction cup climber has played well all season long and in two New York events has made it to the finals both times. The most recent trip, they, along with 2607 and 5585, were able to take a match from the Nermorn Alliance, but would ultimately fall in a very close match 3, 86 to 81. They aren't quite done yet, looking for a regional win. They'll compete uh, in the New York City Regional, their home event, before the first championship in Detroit. So good luck to 694 Stipals. So two silver medals for Stipals uh, so far, both <laughs> both times you know having to go against kind of a juggernaut in the top alliances, but they really have a great robot. So glad there's this camera sure. here that just pans right away right when 694 is going to yeah. climb. Yep. That's great. <laughs> it's just like, I know, like watching some of the, like when they, some of the events that have two, you know, the two cameras set up, the, the ones I think that are on the blue line sometimes are the, the ones where it's like, it, it goes back and forth. So uh, first defaults the uh, house cam one for uploads to TBA. Why? Uh, that's a wonderful question that you might have to ask uh, some people in Manchester about. Yeah, I really don't know. I, I, I actually agree that uh, 
Yeah, that doesn't make sense, especially for what would be uploaded TBA, right? Because I, I get if like your if your target audience are people who don't who does not do not know what first is, right? That makes sense right. to show like the main the main house cam for things, uh, but or the house feed I should say. But if it's if it's broadcasting the TBA, why wouldn't you default to have the uh, secondary streams do that? Where yeah, it is, where it is a tri view that makes way more sense. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. Yeah, especially for yeah uh, yeah. Then, uh, conversation for another time. <laughs> yeah. All right. Cool. Moving on. Moving on to seven and talk about team 2910. From Milk Creek, Washington. Henry M. Jackson High School. It's Jack in the Bot. 34 and 2 overall record. And they were the winners of the Mount Vernon District and the Sun Dome District events in the Pacific Northwest. So, Jack in the Bot is just an amazing team. They're and they're so off to just an incredible start. Debuted at number six two weeks ago. Um, and they're here again after just another dominant performance. So in the talks of like, you know, one of the best or the, you know, really top three in FRC total, um, they're just such an effective quick cycler via their swerve drive. Um, we saw them there kind of at the end of the clips of the week um, with the climb, but they're only able to place the cargo uh, place in the cargo ship and on the level one of the, of the rocket and they can climb um, up to level three at the end. So just, we just, everybody loves this robot. And uh, it's just uh, just incredible. So, you know, we all see how this game kind of changes from qualification matches, excuse me, to playoff matches. And I, I mentioned it a few minutes ago, but they're just so they're just set up so well um, for when that game kind of does change. And it's really just a lot more defense. And you're really, you know, really just trying to get um, cargo and hatches on those lower levels. So um, when they're really just used to do that with their swerve drive, they're just set up so well to do that. So um, congrats and really well done. Uh, and good luck going forward to Jack and the bot. So watch how quick this climb is here. So, so yeah. Apex, Apex falls over here, right? And they kind of get tangled. But just watch like how quickly they just reset and watch this climb as it goes up once they get free. It's pretty crazy. <laughs> what is going on down there? Yeah, I don't know. But like, watch this right here. So <laughs> yeah, yeah 13 yeah. seconds, 11 10, three seconds. I mean, yeah, insane. Yeah. yeah. Uh, I agree. I think 2910 is a little bit, uh, you know, from what the chat is saying, I think they're a little bit underrated. I have them in my top five. I don't vote, though, so uh, it's just kind of the way it is. No but, complaining, Tyler. Yeah. <laughs> but, uh, but yeah, Sorry, I have them in my top five. I think 2910 is awesome. Um, you know, do, the, does it matter that they can't do, you know, level two, level three of the Rocket? Yeah, I think it does a little bit. But, you know, as, as a team that can rank really well, uh, you know, I – I, I wonder how that's going to impact them come championships or something like that, right? Where they do they have a chance to be a number one seed um, come championships? And I don't think the answer if, is yes. If it, well, yeah, and if not, like you just said, then they're definitely up there for first taken, you know, or, or second taken because of how this game does change mm-hmm. and just the importance of what they bring to the table and just how effective they are at, at that ground game. I, see, I don't, I don't know how somebody says that they that they're going to be number one seed or division. How is that possible when you are cannot be the one responsible for sol- for uh, I shouldn't say that. Sorry for completing the rocket, right? Yeah. Uh, and if you're if you're not and you don't have the opportunity by yourself to potentially get four RP, uh, I I don't see how that's going to happen personally. And maybe it does, uh, but I would take a team. You know, if you have to rely right. on your line exactly. partners for it, it, that that does not make sense on how you're how people are very confident they can seed number one at championships. Right, because the, you know to to really get as many RPs as you can, you really need to be able to complete a rocket. So unless they're with teams that are really well are really good at doing those upper those upper levels, then it's going to be hard to get those four RP matches. Um, but that being said, once out of you know out of qualification matches, you know it, it does change. So. Yeah. By the way, Parthia, yeah, so you can say solo rocket on stream. It's not like we're we're banning that or anything like that. It's just you know first first is asked uh, that they you don't say solo rocket, and I don't think it's that big a deal for me not to say it personally. If you want to, go ahead. I really missed that whole thing. Why not? Why can't we say solo rocket? Uh, so there was a update for uh, MCs and game announcers to not use the term solo the rocket because uh, it's a euphemism for masturbation. I see it now. Okay. <laughs> All right. On that note. <laughs> On that note. You asked. Just saying. That's yeah, correct. Sure. That's I mean, correct. it's the it's the honest the honest reason. So. Um. All right. So our sixth ranked team is going to be team number thirty three. From Auburn Hills, Michigan, Notre Dame Preparatory School. It's the Killer Bees, thirty four and three overall. We're the winners of the Southfield and Centerline District events. 
33 competes in arguably the toughest district in FRC, and after two events, have amassed 151 district points to earn the top spot in FIM. <laughs> Their most recent outing earned them another number one spot and picked up two more blue banners uh, for the the district win and a little double gold cling bling for also picking up the chairman's award. So another great haul for 33, and they'll compete one more time before the Michigan State Championship at the Alpina number two event next week. So good luck to Team 33, the Killer Bees. Killer Bees. <clears throat> yeah, and you can probably, if you want to find out more about Killer Bees, make sure you uh, check out the uh, Infimidation show, where they, uh, literally the whole show just covers Fim, and they can probably talk much better than what we can about Killer Bees, especially because uh, uh, Nick Cousins, is, who's on 33, is one of our hosts for that show. So make sure you go check out Infimidation on Region Recap. We need your help to keep fun loud, live, and independent. Help us by visiting our Patreon to pledge your support at patreon.com forward slash first updates now. You can also support fun live on Twitch for a few bucks a month or by linking your Prime account for free and clicking subscribe. Thank you to all of our co-executive producers keeping fun loud, live, and independent.